Well, hey, what's going on? I thought I'd make a quick video showing you how to install the mods into GTA 4. Um, I know there's been quite a few people asking about it. So basically, you're going to need WinRAR, and you're going to need uh, to download something called GTA 4 Spark. Now, where you could do that is just go on the internet, uh, go to Google, and then just type in GTA 4 Spark. You'll get your thing. It should be the first one. Um, so it'll be GTA 4 Tools. It'll say Spark 4 and then blah blah blah. If you have the GTA 4 patch, the latest one, download this. I think there's a few others. So anyways, so you'll go ahead and you'll click on that. And you'll get to the site. Um, just some GTA site. And it'll say right here, you know, Spark 4 0 0.6 to 2.2 2 .2, whatever GTA 4 for the latest patch. You'll download it, boom, good. So once that's downloaded, um, you'll have to extract it with WinRAR. Then you'll go into the folder, which is a Spark 4. You'll bring up the window here, and you'll see the GTA 4 logo. So it's right here. Double click on that, oh, sorry, I did it again. If you have Windows Vista, you'll have to right click on it and run as administrator. <coughs> if you have UAC, whatever, just hit allow. Okay, now you'll have the Spark 4 um, tool here. Basically what it lets you do is it lets you go into your GTA files and you know add them, edit them, insert what have you. So we'll leave that to the side for <clears throat> for a minute. Now if you already have your mods, um, I'll show you a site back in Internet Explorer. It's one of my favorites. Um, it's GTA 4 whoops, clicked on the wrong one. It's uh, GTA4mods.com uh, that's it right there. That's the website. Sorry, GTA4-mods.com. Basically, you have everything from tools, vehicles, weapons, scripts, players. That's um, skins and stuff, what have you. Um, so you'll go in there, click on vehicles. You know they have everything from Yamaha YZR M1, um, 2008 Mini Cooper S. I mean Mitsubishi Eclipse. They have a uh, new SWAT police van. Ooh, I should probably download that. That's pretty sweet. Um, just a whole range of vehicles. Police cars, um, Mazda RX-8, they have Supras, every car. Oh, look, there's a new police bike, actually. Looks pretty sweet. So, anyway, so you'll, you'll click on that, you'll download it. They're like two megabyte files, maybe they're only like a few megabytes. Um, once you download your file, it'll look like that with the WinRAR. So you click, this is a Kawasaki, I think it's a Ninja or something. So you'll go to your file there, um, right click on it, extract files, you'll get this thing here, I just do it to my desktop, it's easier, and I'm going to extract it, okay, boom it extracts, done. Now what you'll always get when you download mods is you'll get two files, just let this focus for a second, stupid lighting. Okay, there we go. So when you download, like for example, the bike, the Kawasaki is going to replace the NRG 900. Now you could change it, I'll show you that in a, in a second here. But what you'll always get is you'll always get the car that is replacing, which is in this case the NRG. It'll, it'll always be dub, uh, sorry, dot .wft and dot .wtd. Those are the files you need, those are the most important. So don't worry about the readme file if, or if there's any other pictures showing you. So keep these two aside. Okay, so what you're going to do now is you're going to go into your Spark 4, you're going to click on Browse, and it's going to open up the GTA 4 directory. It's going to take a sec because there's quite a bit. So just let that open up. Bam, okay. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the left here, slide all the way down, okay, till you get to right here, Models. You're going to click on CD Images, click it once, boom, and you're going to go to vehicles.img. Okay, you're going to double click that. Now, here's all your vehicles. So, you know, the Admiral, Air Tug, Ambulance, Annihilator, they're all in alphabetical order. So, I have the NRG, right? So, what you're going to do now is you're going to go to Import here at the top. Okay, you're going to go to import. Now, you might get a message, blah, 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 don't worry about that. 
Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to go to the location of where your mod is. So I'm going to go to my desktop. And I'm going to go down until I see it. Okay. So the screen. Okay, so these two files, like I said, the NRG, lenhunter.wft and the .wtd. I'm just going to highlight both of them. That's all I did. You click on open. Boom, they're in there. Then what you're, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to go up, go to save. There, the archive has been saved. You click on OK, and that's it. That's how you insert your mods. Um, for, well, for vehicles, anyways. So, there, I just saved it. I'm going to exit. Exit that. You could throw your stuff here in the trash now. Oops. Do you want to put them in the recycling bin? Yes. Now let's go to our mods now. Let's go check out my new... Kawasaki. I think it's a Kawasaki Ninja or something like that. Okay, let's see if it worked. I'm going to do my NRG cheat here. You can see there. I'm going to go to NRG 900, and it worked. As you can see, that's not the NRG. Oh, I just lost my controller. Okay. There you go. I think it's the Kawasaki Ninja something, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, um, but yeah, this is the bike, a shock there, you get on it, usually when people create the mods they put their own little thing, so, that says, I think it's Aceto GTA 4. Pretty sweet looking, uh, oh, it's bright. pretty sweet looking bike, and uh, yeah, that's it. So that's how you add in mods, um, for vehicles anyways. And there's some of my other mods I got before, the Murcielago and the uh, Camaro. But uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know. Alright, take it easy.